this ghost snake eyes. Darken up the immortal justice. No, I just went there to set up. Yeah, Let me see if I can. My lighting is off. Here we go. Full armor, unicorn, RGs, comic boxes, Killmonger box. That looks dope. I got some more Mezcos up here. 105 for Ultraman. Dark side. I don't know. I think this is three pack. 259. Morbius. As well. Let me see. Here. A couple of one shots. Dope. Couple of one shots. Shout out to the homie Ricky. He's been kind of feeling my like comic book needs. It's been a while since I got some comics, but I don't know if this is a reprint. Uh, yeah, it gotta be a reprint. Unless it has to be a reprint. I'm trying to see what else they got some legends up there. Let me go check those out. since I've been in here or at least recorded for y'all it's a pretty probably the dopest collectible store and one of the dopest there's a lot a lot lot more organized as I can tell than trilogy they have a lot of Gundams I mean you see here master grades and then the whole top is kits too so again if you're in the Virginia area Hampton Roads area check out cool stuff it's on the corner of like just google it I don't, mean, I don't, I don't even know what I'm telling y'all but <clears throat> regardless of the fact I always want to pick this up when I see it dare dogo high grade guard dogo whatever master grade camphor Sanaju and for Mercury kits. Bikes. G.I. Joe bike. Mm. Like stuff like this. Is, you can't go into Hobby Town right now. Certain Hobby Towns you can't go into and find this. This is pretty dope to see. And of course, people don't know, but I do have a pretty decent collection. Went on a transformer kick a couple years back. <clears throat> like I want, I got this. Damn, Ultra Magnus seventy four dollars. I got this Ultra Magnus. I got all like the Barnes and Noble exclusive Optimus Primes. That's why I was pretty interested in that. Um, that shock sound wave, sound wave shock wave. They got the clear optimus prime 
with a matrix box. It's pretty dope. Yeah, but it had to been like, I think COVID, when I started getting back into like Transformers, when the trilogy was on Netflix. For the Gushion Full City. This I'm sure in case you just don't see, they keep this pretty decent slot. Because people don't think about this, it's a video game store. So, so. Alright, let me sh throw some B roll on. Some one six scale three zero stuff. One hundred for the Black Shield Black Ranger or Dragon Shield Black Ranger. Jesus Kaisen, Shin Kamen Rider, some GI Joes. Oh, my fault, y'all. I'm sure it's bright because of that light. Let me turn down. There we go. That's better. There you got. Let there be carnage, venom, and carnage set. 439, 509. So about a grand for both of them. Some more hot toys. We got Silver Centurion, Iron Man Mark III, which is the original Iron Man. Mm, yeah, the original Iron Man. F Infinity Ultron, Doctor Strange. The Multiverse of Madness pack, Iron Man Mark IV. Here goes some Code of Bukia, some Sideshow stuff from Star Wars. Yeah, that zero looks crazy. Nine out of 600. Six out of 600. That's a really low number. Number six for Mega Man? Sheesh. Fourth Angel. It is, it is a pretty dope store. Like, this Sonic is crazy. This is sick. Yeah, so, if y'all get a chance, definitely stop through. We're back. Appreciate y'all going on a hunt with us uh, this past weekend. Went to a couple of different places I haven't been to in a long time. One being Trilogy. That was the first store. Love that store. It's like a real great knickknack store when you want to look for certain animes. And only place I know that has like a 3016 scale um, Ultraman figs. So I shop there pretty frequently. I got majority of mine from there outside of Sideshow. But didn't really see much cool stuff. I'm going to have to double back around to that one because they I forgot they do accept trade-ins and I have some old Funkos from my old Funko days that I could go and trade in for some figures like I'm eyeing that Char uh, Robot Spirits Zaku 2, the red one, obviously a Char. They have the black Tri-Stars, there are three of them, and these are also Robot Spirits. And for $30, I think that's as cheap as I've seen it. I, I could be wrong because I wasn't really looking before like online but the little um three and three quarter scale xeon soldiers so it was a pretty pretty dope hunt pretty good day too um nice warm day took the kids to the park 
travel around Hobby Lobby, Yes Your Toys. I didn't get a chance to record in there because I just want to kind of just relax and enjoy. But I do have some pickups, some things I haven't showed y'all. And one thing is going to be a surprise. I want y'all to guess in the comments below on the Undergated page. So if you want, I mean, the Undergated podcast last episode. In that episode, I said I have a kit that's a grail kit, not a grail kit, one of my favorite suits. And I know it's a grenade, but I'm going to try to give it some tender love and care. And I want y'all to guess what, guess you can comment down here as well. Or go to the video and comment which one. And because yesterday we had a pretty dope, dope episode. We talked about um, game changing kits versus game managing kits. What's some kits that are like put out there just to hold you over? And what's some kits that go out there and be revolutionary? Austin and CD has their opinion. I have mine. It's all fun and games though, man. Alright, so let's get into what we got, right? As y'all know, we are working on another group project for CDs, IPMS. So I had to go out and pick up an Action Base 1 in black. So we'll pick this up from Hobby Town. Action Base 1s. I forgot how big these are, man. So, got something that works for this. I'm glad to have this. I thought I had a whole lot. Actually, I have a whole lot of 4s, but not a whole lot of anything else. I think 4s and 2s. Because I'm really a 144 scale. That's that size is for Master Grade, but action based one. As y'all saw, if you did watch yesterday's episode of the podcast, I did show this off as a package that came in from Gundam Expo. We have the real type colorway of the Mark II high grade. I'm not going to open this up because, like I said in episode. This is just the, this is just the high grade, just in a different color scheme. So I might do the real grade in this color scheme. We'll see. But no, for sure, I'm not opening this up. I like the box. I like the real type boxes. I'm mad that I missed out on the real type Titans, the real type color of the Titans two mark of the Titans Mark two or Mark two Titans color. Man, that's a lot. Real type Mark two Titans. I missed out on that. So, from the homie Austin, I did. He did was he did. I don't want to say he gifted me, but no, I'm gonna pay him for this. I'm gonna pay him for this. The wound ward, AOZ, is right around the corner. When we do the April, I don't know if I'm gonna do it though. I might stash this away for next year. I'm just glad to have one in my collection. Outside of the uh, TR1 Hazel, Austin is having me kind of like branch into this AOZ line and the wound wart has grown on me. Nick Model, shout out to him. Uh, go check out his wound wart and just seeing others, man. So, able to pick up these as well. Next up are SH Figarts for my SH Figart people because it is the toy portion of the channel, right? So, um, I got one order from P Bandai and I got one order from eBay. I ordered like a did haggle the guy down on eBay. I'll show you the P Bandai one. We were able to secure the Majin Vegeta SH Fig Arts. This looks dope. This I'm a big Vegeta fan of a, a Vegeta stand. Vegeta is one of my, if not my favorite anime character. And now, close to having all his SH fig arts. I passed on the Namek Saiyan suit one. The one he has when he gets to Namek the first time. I think that, you know, the newest one. I passed on that one because I have the Saiyan armor SH fig arts. I didn't feel like getting that one even though, regardless, neither here nor there. But I'm glad I was able to get this into my collection. I'm going to open up this guy soon, take some photos. Only gripe about it is I'm not a big fan of the kind of like that yellowish gold hairstyle. It's like a metallic yellow rather than, in, I don't know. I like the third party head sculpts and what they do to their hair when it comes to these Dragon Ball kits. Kits? Figures. But it comes with the aura, the lighting effects or the lightning effects as well. Sheesh, I should have ordered two. I should have ordered two. Last up is a package from eBay. Like I said, this was sitting on somebody's eBay for quite some time. 
I did a counter offer. It, we were going back and forth. I think he was just playing games. It was like changing up 50 cent, things like that. But I was able to secure from him, and I took it out to make sure everything is squared away inside too. I'm not a big eBay, especially when it comes to like buying used figures. But I had to get this war machine. This War Machine Mark IV, which is from Age of Ultron, I believe. Civil War, Age of Ultron, one of them. And I think it's Age of Ultron. Infinity War. It says it right on the box. Infinity War. Um, this is probably my Ultraman, I mean my War Machine. I'm going to pair them up with a couple of Ultraman shots. But for sure, this is my War Machine figure. I've taken him out, I messed around with him, and this is a dope figure. I was able to talk this guy down to about 85 shipped, 80, 80, 85 shipped. And looking everywhere else is about a $100, $120 figure new. So, yeah. This is definitely, after just messing around with this guy, definitely in my figure of the year campaign. So, that is pretty much it for the haul. Try to get it all in one shot here. And we got the Wound Wart and the Mark II. It's been a long time since I did this like this. Boom, like that. And that's it, y'all. Thank y'all again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm Coop, one-third member of the Undergated Podcast. Make sure y'all check our episodes out every Wednesday at 3 p.m. We talk everything, Gundam, anime, photography, all of it, workshop, Gunpla, all of it in between, everything in between. See y'all next time. Peace.